I'm sure he'll be home soon. I love Nanako. Nanako's great. Nanako is fucking just, just so adorable. Hey, can you imagine that? Just like turning a corner and seeing that scenario? That would just be terrifying. Now, I, uh, I, I, still, I still can't bring up the pause menu. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, anyway, when, uh, when we were being introduced to Mr. Moroka, uh, I got a courage increase. Um, when I can bring up the pause menu, I'll, I'll go over all that stuff uh, and explain more what the game is about. Um, we had a pretty big day, you know. First day of class, we're, we're pretty tired, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go crash. Generally, I don't like kid characters, but Nanaka's Nanaka's done pretty well. Ooh, man! Someone. Gosh, you have such bad luck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um. No problem, dude. Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. Yeah, that, that is me. That is me. You, you alright? I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Alright. <clears throat> nice to meet you too, Yosuke. But, uh... Are, are you good, man? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Alright. I don't, uh... I don't believe you, but okay. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? We found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. I did, yeah. Yeah, we uh we actually walked past it. I think it was some kind of warning. There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Hmm. It's a it's a weird way of thinking about it, but yeah. You, you could be right, Miyosuke, you could be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. It is messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh crap, we're late. You want to ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. And... Sure, why not? Let's go for it. Hopefully we won't crash again. Such a dick. <laughs> I fucking hate Moroka so much. <clears throat> anyway, John appears to waste my precious time teaching you assholes. All right, all right, all right. We're just gonna do this right here, right now. I'm gonna ask you guys. Not all the dialogue is talked over. Do you guys want me to read this, or do you want me to just like leave it on screen and like react to you know, comment on it uh, in character or whatever? Like, what would you guys rather have me do? I'm not doing voices. Because the game is voice acted. But I can read it for you if you guys want me to. I'll leave it here for a second. So you guys catch up. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Nice, shiny. <clears throat> You're listening mainly? That's a good point. Comment on it. Voiceovers. Read it if you want. I'm gonna count that as one for read, so it's like two one one for read. Don't read, react ish. I feel like doing it. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can, I can read it. It's fine. Losing chunks anyway when you get to do things. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> that's true. I can like try to like paraphrase and whatnot. But anyway. Uh, Apparently he's not only our homeroom teacher, but he's also going to be teaching us philosophy, so... You rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Ah, oh, you're such a dick. Going especially hard on you morons that are curious about the murder. Wow. <clears throat> Listen to the lecture intently. We got a knowledge increase. 
So yeah, again, I will I'll be going over this stuff uh, when I get the chance to, but I can't access the pause menu right now, so once I get access to the pause menu, I will explain that stuff. But for the time being, we just kind of have to roll with the, go with the flow. So, you getting used to this place? Hey, hello again, Yosuke. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting used to the kind of slower, slower-paced lifestyle. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, it's not that hard to transition from uh, fast to slow life, yeah. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. Yeah, I can understand the that. The air's clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? I don't, actually. It's grilled steak, man. <laughs> like, that's something <laughs> special, huh? Yeah, that's fair. I know a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. Hmm. Me, huh? No apologies? Uh, my trial of the dragon? You always come around when I'm talking about food. <laughs> How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? Right, Seabrook. I hate annoying, just monotonous questions like that. Like, my biggest pet peeve. If you're ever with me in public and we're eating, please, please don't ask how my food is. I'm eating it before it is good. <laughs> Arr, irks me. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Oh, please. You can kill your fine. Oh, my gosh. Whatever. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? Oh, that's right. Shay said something about that yesterday. It's not like that. I'm just helping out when he gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. <laughs> well, seems like Yukiko won't be joining us. Oh, well. We should get going, too. Well, yeah. I mean, nine times out of ten, if I'm eating my food, it, it's fine. I don't need you to ask me how it's going. I'm not gonna be like mad at you or anything, but just like, come on. <laughs> There's more things we could t be talking about. You know what I mean? Anyway, whatever. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? I mean, I'm broke. I just moved here. Like, I don't. I haven't picked up a job yet. So I mean, yeah. Oh god, that sounds awful, cat. Uh, oh god. Wait, Juness? Hey, this is the place that Nanako likes. Or at least likes the little jingle, too. This is the cheap place you were talking about? They don't have grilled steak here. <laughs> yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plan. <laughs> <laughs> I love Yosuke so much. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. His place? What? Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? You haven't, no? I moved here from another city about six months back. Oh, okay. This location just opened up, and my dad was assigned to manage it. Wow. Dad's a store manager. Wait, so... You can be employed here, even though your dad's management? So our entire family came out here. Or maybe here. I'm just looking into this, this too much. Maybe he doesn't actually work here. I guess maybe his dad just works here. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. Sassy. <laughs> been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. 
A lot of stores there started closing, and oh, um, yeah, I'm... that tends to happen. You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? It's Saki Senpai. Ted a little bit. No, he can't remind me of Ted because Yosuke is my favorite character. Please don't ruin Yosuke, Shiny. Don't you dare ruin Yosuke for me. There's another character. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Please don't do this to me. Don't ruin my favorite character. Sorry. Be right back. Uh, all right. Is uh, is that your girlfriend, Yosuke? Well. I, mean, I guess he was hitting on Yukiko, but yeah, let's fuck with him. <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> ah, that's one of those things. I gotcha. Oh, that's Saki Kunishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. <laughs> runs a family in the shopping district. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's not good. Hopefully, her. I think she's working here part time though. She's working here part time, but her family owns a shop. I guess the business is is dropping. Oh no! What, Judy? What's going on? Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? <laughs> okay. I'm okay with that. Why is it so weird though? It's just just the retext appeared, but hold on. <laughs> Let me go in here and fix this a little bit. Maybe this will look a little bit better. Yeah, let's try that. Anyway, thank you for the 100 bits, <coughs> Judy. <coughs> oh, madam, you wound me. God damn it, Yosuke. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. <sighs> Why did I leave school early yesterday? Oh my god. <laughs> hey, look! The whole message showed up. I leave school early yesterday. Oh no. Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Alright, right, looks like we may have stolen Yusuke's thunder on accident. Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? Yeah, Yosuke here is telling me all these awful things about you. It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? So thank you very much, Judy. I greatly appreciate it. I'm glad it wasn't a ridiculous amount of bits. <laughs> yeah! I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Really? He doesn't hang out too much. That's... that's awful. I don't mind hanging out and being his friend. What? What? No! No, no! No! Stephen Hawking! Not Stephen Hawking. Fucking, he's awesome! What? I'm looking this up. I don't believe you. 
Damn. He really did pass away. Well, that just sucks. That sucks, man. That was old as hell, though. Brilliant man. He's a brilliant man. <clears throat> Looks like it might have been a few hours ago. Yeah, I'm sad now, too. <laughs> Let's continue on. Maybe we can get to some happy things. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. <laughs> wow, looking out. Looking out for Yosuke. And he seems to be, like, pining after her. That's... That's not good. Yeah, that's another thing, Jam. Like, he wasn't, uh... He, he, he was around a fucking hell of a lot longer than he could have been, yeah? Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. <laughs> you gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Got it. I mean... Nah, he, he seems like a pretty good guy. He seems like a pretty good guy, I mean... Might be a little annoying, but his heart's in the right place. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Alright, alright. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. It's ruining your favorite character, yeah. And Judy, it's not bullying. You're you're fine. You have my permission to to pester me if you wish. <laughs> well, my break's Speaking just about of which, over. Back to work I go. Yeah, rest in peace, Mr. Hawking. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. Later. Peace. Oh, uh, senpai. <laughs> Saki senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. Oh boy. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Ouch. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? Oh, I get it. So that's how it is. <laughs> the daughter of a local family-run liquor store and the scion of the invading chain, the flame of forbidden love. <laughs> Dude, it's not like that. Mm, sure it's not. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. <laughs> You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? What? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. That's... oddly specific. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say, that person's your soulmate. What? What? For a second, I thought you were <laughs> something useful. <laughs> How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? I mean, it does seem kind of far-fetched, GA. I don't. Of course, I don't. I don't know how much I would I would buy into that. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. <sighs> I mean. I kind of want to go to bed early. You know, like, I just got here like two days ago. Can I just get some rest? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. Yeah, good point. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? <laughs> Rip Mar. Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Yosuke? That's not cool, man. That's terrifying. Shh, You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I am saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. 
I mean, I guess if I'm awake, I can, but... I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's just some nonsense. I don't, I don't really see a point in trying to do this. Hello, LaFancy. <laughs> howdy, howdy. Is this God? What? I am confused. Nanako? It's okay, Nanako. Yeah. What? Hey! What a day. Howdy, Dojima. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. You God stream? Oh, come on. I'm not God. Damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? <clears throat> Seems like we know who, who kind of runs this household. <laughs> Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. This news story again. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. That's just... <sighs> I don't even know what to say. It seems like the... The announcer lady <coughs> who's involved in the fair is was indeed who uh who passed was murdered or something tied to the lovers quarrel yeah. the police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them in addition. We now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Oh, boy. Uh, an interview with a kid? Uh, where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? <sighs> Pathetic. Uh, um... Yes, that line does seem kind of familiar, but don't you think it's scary? I don't know where we would have seen this person. Day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? <clears throat> oh boy. So it was Saki that found uh that found Miss Yamano. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. If they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. I have to agree it with really the Jima. It's a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. Yeah, but that's real annoying. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? Typical news. We'll be right back <coughs> after these messages. 
at Juness. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Don't you just, you just love how this is exactly like how real life is? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? Well, he's out. <laughs> no? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, it's a busy life, Nanako. He's been dealing with all this nonsense, and the news doesn't seem to be on his side at all, so... It'll be okay. I'm sure he'd love to take you to Juna- or, yeah, to Juna someday. <coughs> yeah, I'll leave him be. Anything in this here fridge? Yeah. I'm always gonna be checking the fridge. Don't worry about it. Um... Even though this is a 